There's a lot of people out there that would love to make a mask but don't have access to a sewing machine. So I'm going to show you a quick way how to make a hand sewn mask. All you need is a piece of fabric, some shoelaces or ribbon, a ruler, some pins. I'm using safety pins. Um, you can also use straight pins. A needle, some thread, um, a marker or a pen, and some scissors. So you're going to start with two pieces of 10 by 6 cloth. So I have my two pieces of cloth next to each other, and I'm going to measure 10 by 6. Next, you're going to thread your needle and you're going to pull all the way through so that the needle is at the halfway point. And then, to make sure that you don't lose your needle, you're going to tie a nice overhand knot at the end of your string. And I'm going to do it two or three times so I have a nice big knot there. So now I'm not going to lose my needle. So you're going to take your two pieces of fabric and you're going to put the pretty sides on the inside. So the wrong sides are out. Now I'm going to just go down and I'm going to sew down both sides of the long side of my mask. Now that I've sewn both of the long sides, I'm going to turn my mask inside out or right side out. And you can press your seam, or if you want to just kind of take your finger, kind of flatten it out for your next step. So down the short sides, you're going to fold it in about half an inch, and you're going to take your pins and pin this into place. So with my freshly threaded needle, I'm going to sew as close to the edge of each of these as possible on both sides. Um, so the point is to make a little sleeve there. For the final step, you need your shoelace. The first thing you're going to do is take your shoelace, fold it in half, and cut. I like to put a little knot at the ends, so your shoelace doesn't completely unravel. Then take the plastic part, which is called an aglet, and you're just going to thread that through the little sleeve you made. So the final thing that you have to do is you smush the fabric a little bit. You're going to fit this to your face and tie the shoelace behind your ear. You can snip off the extras um, and then they'll fit your face perfectly. I'm going to do that now and then show you what it looks like.